It was absolutely mind blowing. I got chills. It could have been from the temperature dropping quite significantly, but I had tears in my eyes. People everywhere here erupted in a cheer. And going into the eclipse, we've had these Japanese photographers um, camped up the last couple of days, and they had a countdown going in Japanese, calling out to all the photographers here. So it was really beautiful to be part of that. Um, and and we had people coming in from all over the campsite, standing in a huge row as we watched the the moon cover the sun it was really beautiful it was quite spooky and eerie as the light dimmed um, and as we went into that darkness it it almost felt like you were losing your eyesight because it was sort of you could see everything but there was just less light than usual it was so bizarre um, but then afterwards yeah we had this beautiful countdown and everyone erupted in a cheer and um, and now they've cracked the champagne. <laughs> Your colleague Jessica Hayes was saying she also had a tear in her eye so it sounds like it was a very special event. What are people saying? Yeah, it was very, very moving. Um, everyone has just been so thrilled. We've spoken to a few people who have come up from Perth. Um, you know, some, for some people, it's a 15-hour drive to get here, um, and they said it was absolutely worth it. I, in the direct aftermath of the eclipse, just as the light came back up, I had a chat with Catherine Zoller and George uh, Gare, who have come up from Perth, and, and they just said it was magnificent. Just so thrilled and felt so eerie and I was, had shakes. I just like so surprised and just something like I'd never experienced before. It was a hard sell at the beginning because I told them that we'd only be for like a minute and uh, that it was going to take us uh, 15 hours to get here. But um, it was probably, yeah, the most exciting minute that uh, we've had for a long time, I think. Yeah, it sounds like it was a pretty amazing 50 or so seconds. What happens now? Because it's not over. No, and if I look up, I won't at the moment because I don't have my glasses on, but if I look up, the eclipse is still happening. It's just going the other side of the sun at the moment. So um, although it feels like this huge climax and now it's over, it's, we're still going through the eclipse, but also in town there's a huge festival. Um, so many you know, um, bands, music, uh, there are stalls, there's food trucks. I think there'll be a lot of people celebrating tonight. I reckon the pubs and the restaurants will be absolutely full, um, but there are still people taking photos here. The, the Japanese photographers are still busy at work with their champagne um, and people will be probably hitting the road over the next couple of days back to their respective home town, cities and home countries. Yeah, we were speaking to the expert Dr Sarah Webb um, in the last hour. She talked us through the whole eclipse as it happened and we were able to take this live shot for our viewers that we are seeing on our screens now. As you say, of the other side as the moon passes in front of the sun. And she was saying that there is a whole industry that's exploded called eclipse tourism. And even your colleague Jessica Hayes was speaking to one traveller who had flown in from Belgium and this was his 24th eclipse. That's unreal. The, the Japanese tourist uh, photographers that we have here, this is their 18th, so they can't beat 24. Um, yesterday, I caught up with a couple who met at an eclipse, got engaged at an eclipse, got married at an eclipse, and have just brought their 10-month-old son to an eclipse. They're from Australia, so it wasn't too far to travel this time around, but they've been across the world. Um, I think four or five they said they've been to. And I can understand why. The people I spoke to today after seeing this, we all sort of thought, I get it. I would probably like to do the same. We only had less than a minute here in Exmouth and some of them are, you know, five, ten, even up to an hour, I think I've heard. So um, it would be an, a phenomenal event to see in different parts of the world. And what a great excuse to travel if you've got the capacity. It's a, it's a great event. Yes, coming back to Australia in five years' time, Michelle Stanley. Thank you for your fantastic reporting over the last few days. I know you've had a very early start this morning, but it seems as though uh, all of the adrenaline has kept you going all the way through. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. Best job in the world.